welcome to the final boss of the Valley of Kings. I'm just going to start things off by saying, I really like this boss. I mean, I usually don't start off like, I mean, the certain boss have kind of cool mechanics and whatnot. I really do like this boss fight. I know he just kind of got a ton of damage on me, but I mean, the first time I did this, I really did enjoy fighting this boss. I believe one of the first things you got to do is you got to run around and beat these guys. But is Nick back? Oh, I did not want to do that. That was a missed press. Well, I'm not going to have my extra move, at least for a while. <laughs> but in terms of conceptual boss, uh, con concepts, for, concepts for a boss fight, I really like this one. I like this one a lot. It also reminds me, if you guys ever played Twilight Princess, remember the guy in the Arbiter Grounds? I actually let Donna die there. Unfortunate. You guys remember the uh, the Arbiter Grounds, that one guy who, uh, before you get the spinner in Twilight Princess? That's what this guy actually reminds me of. Gotta be focused on parrying this attack. Alright. And now we have a path that goes forward once to beat all the ones on the side. And you just get to go crazy! I didn't even focus on getting the flash move or the flash guard. So that mini boss that I was doing really good on, it's like, let's not worry about that, because this fight is going differently. You died again, Donna? Hmm. No, not worth it to use that. Save that for later. Revive you. Nullify these status effects. But yeah, it's divided, it's divided into to a couple different phases, which I think is kind of cool. I'm trying to get the flash moves on it, but I'm just timing it really badly. Oh my gosh. Alright, well... Survive Donna again. Let's stop being idiots, and let's actually fight this guy. Oh my gosh. Now I can use HP with that. I don't think he's gonna let me do a full bar of health before he kicks me out. That's what I'm getting hit by, it's the people on the freaking side, that's what it is. There we go, that's a, that's something. And I'm poisoned too. Oh my gosh. No, I was saying how I was having good fights before this. This fight ain't going that way. Did you suck the health from you? What attack is this? Oh, there's that many of them doing damage on the side that I didn't even see. That's why. Oh, the second attack. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. I see you, I see you, I see you. I'm scared. There's something. We're just gonna switch to Sahad now. Yeah, my Donna play has been pretty bad. I don't seem to be by actual... I don't know, I just like the design of this guy. I'm gonna stop thinking of uh, thinking of non-positive things. I'm just gonna try to focus on kicking this guy's butt. See, he summoned so many of them so fast. 
I better get a good level after this. He is level 60. I gotta get a flash move or a flash guard on this. There you go. Nice job, Hummel. Donna's the one that I've been doing bad with. Maybe because my timing is off with her. I don't know. Alright, Hummel. Keep it up, man. If I actually had my extra move too, that'd be very helpful. Then, oh my gosh, I was burned too? I've been getting burned a lot. Well, it's, the end of, it's near the end of the game, if it's not obvious that I probably should have been playing this more consistently. Thank you, Hummel. So, okay, I know I was really focused on that fight. I do genuinely enjoy that boss fight. I do. I really do. The issue is that, my god, I got into a very bad pattern with Donna, and I never broke out of it. So, yeah. Um, definitely the fault of me. But, yeah. Timing was off. Mini boss was great. Don't get me wrong. I had one really good fight, and then I was back to a couple bad ones. But, let's not worry about that. Let's just continue on. Um, yeah. Time for you guys to see what's going on over here. This place seems peculiar. You think so? I agree. Compared to the other places, it seems noticeably different. The structure of the room and the materials used appear very old. This place is in rough shape. Is that a collapsed bridge over there? What do you know, Donna? No, I'm sorry, but I feel like I know this place. There seems to be a room further back. Let's continue on ahead. If it's not obvious, we're about to be dropped with a very crucial piece of information. So get ready for it. What's this? Looks like an old mural. I wonder if that's supposed to be the Great Tree of Origins. But this depiction... Hmm. You could interpret it as the Great Tree destroying the world. What could it mean? But I thought the Great Tree brought prosperity to the Kingdom of Eternia. Looks similar to the monolith we saw in Baja Tower. It's no use. I'm not authorized to access it. Who's there? I've been expecting you. I knew you would come here one day. You... But how? Where'd you come from? They appeared out of thin air. That person was in Donna's memories. Those robes. What's going on? Aren't you from the past? It's been a long time, Donna Eclusia. Huh. Monolith. 
It seems you have not yet fully restored your memories. You must have been surprised to see that mural. The Great Tree of Origins evolved Zorians into Eternians and brought forth prosperity. That is a lie, propagated by a faction of Eternians to instill reverence for the Great Tree. A lie? The purpose of the evolution fostered by the Great Tree is not to develop a species. Rather, it selects a species that can withstand the environmental changes and rejects those that cannot. Well, what does that mean? As the mural depicts, the Great Tree will periodically bring about cataclysmic events. Those who manage to adapt and survive receive its protection. The rest are pulled accordingly. This cycle of selection and rejection is the true purpose of the Great Tree. Why? What purpose does this serve? It is necessary to sustain the world's continued existence. We call this pulling of life the Lacrimosa. Eternia's extinction was but a single Lacrimosa. It could not be avoided. That's crazy! Assuming you're telling the truth, then who are you, and why are you here? To observe your current actions in light of your refusal. Refusal? Today, I have only come to greet you. I look forward to witnessing the full extent of your obstinacy. Wait, I still need to know! tree destroyed Eternia? That's gotta be a lie! Hmm. We're not in a position to reliably assert that, though. There is so much we still don't know. You're right. Perhaps the best thing to do right now is re-examine the situation. Donna! It's okay. I'm fine. For now, we should leave this place. Well, now you know the title. For a long time, I didn't actually really know what the title meant. And now it's the same thing with you guys. The Lacrimosa is, is the selection and rejection of life that happens from the Great Tree. So the Lacrimosa of Donna seems a little interesting because the masked figure seemed to call her rejecting the Lacrimosa. And the Lacrimosa of Donna, hmm, just put a little thought into that for now. See what you can interpret. But for now, I think it's a good idea to exit back to Castaway Village. There is one last treasure chest. I'll get that later. Let's go back to Castaway Village for now. But now you know a little bit about what that word means. Well, maybe we don't go all the way out. Maybe we just go back to the top. What's going on, Peril? Many primordials. Castaway village. Emergency! Many primordials. Emergency! Emergency! Primordials? That's hardly newsworthy. At all, perhaps I'm overthinking it, but do you think the primordials might be displaying more unusual behavior? Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's head back at once. And that's the end of Chapter 5, Maiden of the Great Tree.
Told you, man, we're getting close to the end of the series. It's been a fun ride for me. Hopefully it's been the same for you guys. A mural in the Valley of Kings? You think that that's the true purpose of the Great Tree? Yeah, it sounds like a fairy tale. No, it sounds even crazier than that. I don't know what to make of it, really. Hmm. This rubbed individual who, rev who revealed this seems very mysterious, too. What the hell are they? Thought maybe they appeared in Donna's memories. Wouldn't that mean they're from the past, too? Does that mean other Eternians survived besides Donna? If only we knew more. They were in the Valley of Kings, and they knew of the great secret of the Great Tree. Even if they are an attorney, and I have no idea who they could be. If Don doesn't know, then there is so, there's not much else we can do, I'm afraid. But if I'm, they were telling the truth about the Great Tree... Uh-oh. Let's continue this conversation later, at all. Chapter 6, Lacrimosa of the Distant Sea. So we come back, and Primordials are acting off again. But if you see over here, look at that boat! It's coming along pretty nicely! Is there a treasure chest around here? Usually there's chest with some stuff in it. No, no, no. Maybe? Maybe? Nope. There's it over here now, where the chest is. Should be around here somewhere. Hmm. Guess not. I'll just run around. Wait, no, it's, it is over here. What am I thinking of? No, it's just Kathy. Alright, sorry. Got a little distracted. Things are kind of being a little bit of cha uh, a little bit uh, chaotic over here now. We now have a beast trade happening right after you figured out the secret of the, of the great tree. We figured out what the word Lacrimosa means, because I did Google that before I played this game. No help whatsoever. Um, <laughs> and now we're at a point where we have another beast trade. Long story short, there's a lot of crap going on. Um, but it's nice. I like it. This is the part where I was like, oh man, uh, if I haven't said it, there's a point when I was playing this game that I stayed up from like, stayed from like 4am until later just playing it. This was at this moment where I was like, oh, I was so absorbed in this game. And while I don't want to break it, I don't know if I'm going to do the beast trade in an actual video or not. This one's pretty plot significant. Um, we'll find out later if I do it. But either way, that's going to end off this video. Hope to see you guys next time.